This was my first time playing in these pedals. I just grab a drum seat and try it. The BPM on this short test is 206 and the idea is to play BPM where I can feel some discomfort while playing. Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, well, yes, I was able to try all these pedals at the Groove Drum Shop and thank you to Pipo Teixeira for letting me try all these pedals. So first of all, if you haven't subscribed my channel, if you haven't liked my video, just please, just do it now. Okay, so let's do this and let's talk about all these pedals that I tried. All right, so my overall impression is that the, the Speed Cobra is just an amazing pedal. It's the smoothest pedal I've tried. It's so easy to, to practice, it's so easy to control. Of course, that Tama is developing these pedals for a decade or more and it has the long board, the, the speed ring, the swivel spring tie, details, also the copper coil, and all these details make it an amazing pedal. Now the Iron Cover 900. Well, Iron Cover, it's been on, on the market for, I can say, 20 years or more, and 
they keep improving all this pedal well this one that i try is the power glide it's not a rolling glide so it's not so easy to control it's a pedal more for power not for speed i think it's it's a great pedal i like i like everything in that but it's not so smooth as the speed cobra Okay, so now is the first model a Tama developed with direct drive system. It's the Tama Drums Dyna Thing. This pedal, first of all, it doesn't feel like there is a direct drive. And Tama increased the overall quality in this pedal. And compared to the Speed Cobra, it looks like they increase everything in, in this pedal. It's more robust, it doesn't produce noise while you're playing. The detail construction is so much better. And another thing that I realized it is switching from 18 to triplet, you can get more control. It's easier to control because of the direct drive. So it's unbelievable. I was not expecting a direct drive of that kind. It's, it's certainly a great choice. Okay, so now the Pearl Drums Demon Drive. Well, this is a beast. It's the heaviest pedal that I try here. It's not heavy because it's difficult to control, but it's a stronger pedal for, for stronger drummers, for those who are more focused on the finishing and to play loud. It's, it's a really solid pedal. I like it, but it's not so easy to control. Or it, for me, it was easy to control the Speed Cobra and the Dyna thing. Well, now the Pearl Drums Eliminator Solo Red with the Red Cam. So the Red Cam is like the Iron Cobra Power Glide. It is a cam usually for power, uh, not for speed. And honestly, I had some difficulties controlling this pedal. But well, yeah, I enjoy it, but not my favorite. Okay, so now the Pearl Drums Eliminator Solo Black with the black cam. So the black cam is like the Iron Cobra Rolling Glide. It's a great pedal, believe me. It's um, really good on control, on speed, and it has a really low noise while you're playing. Uh, so it's a great choice, guys. And also for the price, it's really a, an amazing choice. Okay, so now the Axis A21. Well, <laughs> I know Axis is developing pedals for a long time, so this is just my opinion. It was really difficult for me to control this pedal. I don't know if it was because of the direct drive or I need more hours to adapt to this pedal. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I feel it was difficult for me to control it. Uh, of course, that is, it, all these pedals was my first time trying all of them, but I didn't like the, the axis. <laughs> okay, so Iron Cobra 600. Well, this it's the same feeling as the Iron Cobra 900, but because it doesn't have the long board, the Cobra coil, and also the cam is for the power glide, is the black cam, it was not good for speed. So if you like this pedal, just please go for the 900 series because it's much better. Okay, so the Dyson Precision called Chain Drive. Well, this pedal has some features different to all the others, like the coil is on the top of the of the pedal inside the chamber because of that it gives a different feeling it, it's more smooth and at the same time it's more precision i don't know how to explain you this also the beater is self-aligned with a dual surface for metal and felt so i've tried a felt side and all this together results in an extremely efficient transfer from the axle to the pedal board and it makes sense right so however the pedal put more strain into my shin muscles well i don't know maybe because of this coil on the top or it requires more energy from my legs and i needed to use more muscle groups 
I, I, I don't I can't explain I don't know it was my first time playing with this pedal but it's it's unbelievable. So let me know your opinion in the comment guys let me know which one you put on first and which one you put in last let me know what you guys think about all these pedals let me know which one you use or which one you like me to try and to show you okay so here's a cover of me playing some heavy grooves and also another one here thank you so much for watching see you soon <laughs>